what's been like the best part about your whole NBA journey of two years, and what's not been the good part about your journey? Hey guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, right now I am outside CMS Business School of Jain University. This is on the Shishadri Road and this is where more than 1,000 students who plan to pursue their MBA from Jain University come and study. More information in a bit but today I have the whole day here to spend on the campus. And at the same time, if you are planning to pursue your MBA from Jain University, this video is going to be really very important for you because I'm going to try catching hold of a couple of students and asking their real review. So let's get started. Wow, this is the reception area. And to be very honest, this looks like a lobby of a five-star hotel. They've got very comfortable lounge chairs here. This is where you as students or as parents would come and take a seat and meet the management and discuss about your whole admission process and everything like that. Honestly speaking, this looks really very good. By the way guys, this same ground floor has a lot of the meeting rooms, board rooms and faculty lounges for the faculty members to sit. Let me give you a tour of the other things now. Okay guys, right now I am inside the boardroom here and this looks really very good. By the way, there's another boardroom on this particular floor but there's an actual placement that's happening here. So there are proper recruiters from the outside who are here taking interviews of the students whom they want to hire and select. So I obviously could not disturb that room. But this is an empty room that I got and it looks really very good. This is a very, very professional setup. This room majorly is used by the faculty members, head of departments, even the directors of the campus whenever they want to have conduct meetings, discuss about some very important things, all of that looks really very good. Guys, right now I am inside one of the many seminar halls that they have here on the campus. Seminar halls are used for multiple purposes but majorly for guest lectures and business fairs that these students conduct on the campus. This by the way has a seating capacity of more than 150 students and has a proper projector with the screen. So like I said for all the business fairs this becomes the go-to room. Honestly speaking the rooms look really very good and modern. They are all air conditioned and looks really very nice. Okay guys, the seminar room was really very good. Let's check out what else is there on the campus. By the way, I really like that it. it's got these motivational quotes everywhere in the corridors which is really very good. This is a lounge and I can see some students inside so let me go. Hey guys, uh, I'm actually shooting a campus tour video of the NBA campus here. Do you mind if I ask you all a couple of questions? No. No, I think, I think okay. it's okay. Okay, great. Let me, let me sit down. By the way, my name is Kavaj. You all are? I'm Shreya. Shreya, where are you from? I'm from Bangalore. What about you? I'm Vishnu from Kerala. Oh, nice. What about you? I'm Samarit from Maharashtra. What about you? Uh, I'm Kaushi. I'm from Bangalore. I'm um, Jason from Kerala. Great. So, MD students, first year or second year? Second, second, year. second year. So, it's almost about to end then? Yeah. 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 Happy? <laughs> Guys, the first thing that I hear the moment I think like second years is placements. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of doubts uh, about like placements and what is it like. So, have you guys been placed? Yeah. yeah, most yeah, of yeah. yeah. Oh, all of you? Yeah. 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 Not Great. Yet. You haven't gotten <laughs> no, placed? Right? It's, it's still in process. So. Okay, still in process. Yeah. That's good. So, uh, if you all could tell me the companies you've gotten placed at, what roles and if you're comfortable with sharing packages, that'd be great. So, I'm placed at Grand Thornton for the role of IT assurance analyst and the package is uh, 6.88 Okay, that's good. What about you? So, I'm placed uh, in a company called ITW Consulting so we are a media agency Yeah, as a digital sales consultant uh, the package is 6 lakhs That's good. Okay, 
All the very best. I hope you get yeah. back very soon. I didn't want to jinx it. <laughs> uh, I'm placed in HDFC AMC uh, as a management trainee in sales and the package is 6 lakhs. That's good. What about you? Same thing. Uh, me and Vishnu, we work together. So we play, placed at ITW, 6 lakhs package, digital sales consultant. Great guys. Guys, now that it's second year and it's almost about to end, what's been like the best part about your whole MBA journey of two years and what's not been the good part about your journey? If anybody's comfortable in sharing that. The best part is the events and fest that we've been a part of and how we could get attendance and all the fun that we've had throughout the events. Attendance, of course, yeah, we've used to get attendance and all the work that we've done for the college, of course. And all the, the worst part. Worst part does not guarantee in college. No, no food <laughs> at the... So you guys go out to eat? Yeah, we go out. There's, there's the entire street is filled with the hotels and restaurants. They're not even the ones. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think that's the case anywhere. So anywhere a college or institute is there, uh, the things around get right. developed so yeah. fast. What else guys? Anybody else who wants to share something really very good? Like Shreya mentioned, the best part is that we could be a part of so many events. You could miss class happily and not worry about it. But then later on you would get uh, screwed in the assignments and everything. <laughs> but yeah, it's true that, that those are the best parts. You get to spend time with your peers and you get to talk to a lot of uh, first years, second years both. And if you do, uh, you know, interact and build your own network, that's very important, I feel. So, yeah, that's the best. One, part. one more thing I wanted to ask you all, I just thought about it right now. What's been like the role of the institute in like shaping you all? Because see, I mean, after NBA, you guys are not going to go back to education majorly. Yeah. So, you know, like how has this shaped you in terms of education or your personal skills? Because NBA is a lot about everything like in total. So, anybody? Yeah, so I think the best part where the college has actually played a good role is in providing the best faculty. So I think all of us agree on the yeah. fact that we have very good faculty here at CMS. So that is one thing that, you know, even my mentor, I can reach out to him anytime I want. So that actually gives us that kind of an industrial experience as well. Also, the faculty here, they come with, uh, you know, ample work experience. So, you know, you get connected to the industry very easily. So that is one thing, yeah. Well, that's that's really yeah. very good. Great guys, I won't take a lot of your time. Thank you so much yeah. for being so yeah. candid in front of the camera. Thank you so really much. nice meeting you all. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. This was great. Let's check out the other things now. Yes. Yes. Okay guys, I've come on the first floor now and now I'm headed to the resource center which is a library here at CMS Business School. Because exams are just around the corner, I'm pretty sure there are going to be students inside. I won't be speaking very loudly, but let me give you a little sneak peek inside. Wow, this looks really very good. By the way, it's a very big library. Like starts from that corner and ends here. Like I had predicted, there are students who are actually studying, so I won't be speaking very loudly. But on that side that you see are the research terminals, which people are again using for research purposes. Guys, the library is filled with books and not only books but also with like journals and magazines and newspapers. Okay, I spotted something very unique come. This is something which is a very rare find in a library. They basically have a cycle. So you know you can get your fitness while you're reading a book or a newspaper or something like that. How cool is this, right? Okay, I've gotten a Kannada newspaper by mistake. I don't know how to read Kannada, but for all you students, you can get your books and use these cycles and be fit and learn. Let me give you a tour of other things in the library. They've got books on organizational behavior, advertisement, branding, general connection, novels, and this again, is a very unique area. I sit in silence, please. I'm not obeying that at all. But this is the lounge where you can just sit and study and read and learn. All of this looks really very modern and nice. Honestly, I think this is one of the best libraries I've ever taken a tour of. Some of the students are on the campus to collect their hall tickets because they have exams coming up. By the way, let me give you a tour of a seminar hall. This is a very unique style of seminar hall. I can see a bunch of students here, but it looks really very good. 
Uh, hey guys, I'm actually shooting a student experience video and taking a tour of the whole campus. Do you mind if I ask you all a couple of questions? Okay, awesome, great. My name is Kawach, you are? Uh, my name is Likit. Likit, where are you from? Uh, from Bangalore. Wow, what about you? I'm Deepti, I'm from Bangalore. I'm Abu, I'm from Bangalore. I'm Aryan, I'm from Hyderabad. Great, so are you guys first years or second years? First, first years. years. All of you? Yeah. Great. The first question that comes into my mind the moment I hear first years is that a couple of months back, you guys would have been in the whole zone of like thinking which college to join and all that. So what were the colleges on your list and why did you all choose to join MBA here at CMS Gen? Uh, I had PS, Joseph's and uh, XLRI on my mind, uh, but I chose CMS because of two reasons. One of th that is the industry connect where uh, business like People in the business or in the corporate world, they come in and they share uh, recent trends, uh, technologies that is happening. And the other part is the mission and vision of the college was inclined to my goals, which was research and entrepreneurship. Pretty good. What about you? So I had Christ, uh, PES, Symbiosis and CMS. And I joined CMS because first thing it's closer to my house. And uh, as Likit said, there's industry experience here. And um, I like the practicality in this college. So we get a lot of practical knowledge from the professors as they have worked before teaching so that is okay that's good what about you right uh, so i had shortlisted christ uh, cms business school and uh, st joseph's university out of which i had to settle for st joseph uh, cms because uh, like Liki was telling basically we have a lot of industry people coming in they have a lot of experience to share and the placements plus uh, the faculty here they're very knowledgeable they have a lot of experience we have faculties here with experience which uh, goes anywhere from 20 to 25 years which is very rich and Damn, I think that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot I agree yeah. <laughs> so yeah I guess uh, that was one of the reasons why I joined CMS Business School okay what about you my research was actually in Hyderabad which was my uh, ICFI college the ISB but I wanted to explore a bit more away, away from Hyderabad so I chose CMS in Bangalore not only this college offers my course which is logistics but also the professors were actually well knowledged and well experienced which was a valuable insight I was looking forward for but like moving all the way from Hyderabad to Bangalore now, so how has your experience been so far? Very widening in knowledge and uh, insights. It's made me far different and open of a person from what I used to be and also very understanding. That's really very good. I think it usually happens whenever you move out of your comfort zone. Um, guys, I've heard a lot about the specializations that they have because they've got like 28 specializations. It's just not the basic finance, human resources, marketing. So what all specialization have you all taken? Uh, I've chosen marketing. Okay, what about you? So I've taken IFA, which is International Accounting and Finance. So it's tied up with ACCA. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, what about you? I'm from Marketing too. What about you? I'm from Logistics and Supply Chain. Oh, why did you choose this specialization? Uh, because it's uh, Logistics is available everywhere, Supply Chain and Logistics. And also it's a very thick of a thing. It's yeah. always needed, no matter what uh, stage of uh, economy we are in. Whether we win pandemics or normal, we always need it. That's, that's very right. Uh, guys, I won't take a lot of your time quickly. Basically, a lot of people who watch my videos are looking for various colleges and are looking for information about the same so that they can make a good decision. If anybody can walk me through what is the whole admission process of making it to MBA at Jane University, like, can anybody tell me that? So initially, you'll have to go to the website where you'll have a uh, form where you'll have to fill in all the basic details, your uh, name, parents' name, educational uh, background and everything. Once you're done with that, uh, they'll ask you if you have any other, attended any competitive exams. If not, you can have you can attend the uh, CMS uh, exam itself. After that, you'll be assigned a date wherein you'll be called to the campus. You'll have to give an essay writing, a presentation followed by an interview, and you'll get a confirmation mail. Uh, if you're selected, then the journey begins. That's that's right. Great. One last question, guys. Can anybody walk me through what a usual day here at CMS Jane looks like? I know routine for each one of you is going to be very different because of you know the fest that you are a part of and all that. But like, what usual uh, day looks like? Like, when do you start with the campus and like what time does it end? So basically, the usual routine. Our college starts from 8:40 in the morning. We'll have the first hour, which is uh, two hours long, and then we'll be having a short break, which is 20 minutes long again. Post which we'll be having the second hour, two hours, and then uh, usually uh, it differs from uh, specialization to specialization. So few specializations will be having two hours a day, some will be having three. And uh, then we'll be after the second hour, we'll be having a lunch hour, uh, one hour long, and then uh, two hours long, the last hour. And uh, yeah, that's that's how uh, the college goes, 8 to 8.40 in the morning till uh, 
three, four, five uh, in the afternoon. And if you people have fest and everything, then you stay back or use yeah. the you know the library and everything. Right. So uh, students have the liberty to stay back right after college hours. Like I told you, some specializations have uh, two hours and three hours. So if at all students have to stay back, they can do that. And we have a lot of fests going on. Like uh, last month, we had something called Khel Utsav, a sports day. Before that, we had something called uh, an international management fest, which is Cranium. Uh, it is a flagship event from our college. Uh, so students can stay back for uh, anything of their interest. They can uh, they can work on it. And uh, right now we're working on one of the events actually. Okay, so nice. yeah. Great guys, thank you so much. Thanks a lot for being so candid in front of the camera and talking. I'm pretty sure this is going to help so many students who are looking like for you know all the information that they need. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Nice meeting you all. Let's go. I'm loving all the corridor walks that I'm doing here. By the way, this is lecture hall number 202, which is an empty classroom and I can give you a tour of how a real MBA classroom looks like. And this is how it looks. As you have the whiteboard and the projector screen here. Along with that, you have a good amount of natural lighting coming from the outside, which again is really very good. By the way, guys, I did mention to you that there are going to be more than 1,000 students for the MBA batch of 2025 out of which 2% are going to be international students. So there is going to be more than 6 nationalities that are going to be a part of the diversity cohort here. Along with that, another very important thing about the CMS Business School is the alumni base that they have because they have more than 9,000 students or 9,000 alumni across the whole country and the world. And a lot of the MBA students get benefited out of the alumni base that they have because that is how they're going to help get internships and even jobs and build the business connects that they really need in order to conquer the business world. Guys, I'm inside one of the many computer labs here at CMS Business School. And to be very honest, again, this room also looks very nice and modern. By the way, here is where you guys will be able to learn a lot of the analytical tools which are very important if you want to run a successful business of your own or want to manage a business of somebody else. This is where you'll get to learn a lot about PowerPoint, Excel and a lot of other analytical tools. By the way guys, CMS Business School has 28 specializations when it comes to their MBA program. So you have the single specializations and the dual specializations and you have specializations not only in finance, marketing, human resources, but also in logistics, supply chain, business analytics, aviation, aerospace, and a lot more. I definitely will be putting the whole list of those 28 specializations in the description of this video, so make sure you go check it up. All in all, this room looks really very good. Guys, another very important aspect of a good B-School is the startup culture that they have. And by the way, this is the startup lab here at CMS Jain University. This is where students would come to ideate, have group meetings, to share their business plans and a lot more. This I can see is a Blackberry model and I'm pretty sure students would have been doing an assignment on why Blackberry failed in India. And this coat here looks really very nice. I'm surely going to get a few pictures clicked for the same coat. All in all, looks really very good. I'm pretty sure students would come here a lot, even, when, even if it is for their fest preparation or, you know, group assignments and a lot more. Along with that, there have been a lot of startups that have been incubated on the campus itself, which again is a really, very good thing. At the end of the day, entrepreneurship is something that we all are looking forward to, right? Okay guys, I'm loving the whole vibe on the campus, especially the conversations that I had with the current MBA students. Along with that, to give you all the important information about their MBA program and the whole CMSB School of Jain University, they're basically approved by AICTE and UGC and have been accredited by NBA, which stands for National Board of Accreditations. They in fact go really big on the rankings as well as they recently got the 68th rank in NIF ranking for the top MBA colleges of the country of the year 2023 and have scored a NAC rating of A++, which is like a really big deal. Guys, I'm almost towards the end of my campus tour here for CMS B School of Jain University and I hope you guys got all the important information that you need. Funny enough, I, when, when I was talking to students, they said there's no canteen, but I did spot one canteen inside the campus, which again is a really very good thing. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. If you like this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any doubts, questions, queries regarding MBA program or CMS B school. I would be more than happy to help. At the same time, please share this video with your friends and family members. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you all with another video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.